Hey guys, this is BeishuMiyo.com and me you are users, you are going to love this video. Today I'm going to show you five hidden MIUI features that a lot of guys don't know about and I'm not just saying that. I'm pretty confident about this one. Anyway, before we start, I want to give a huge shout out to our sponsors for this video, Wondershare Mobile Trans, which is a really useful tool. Well, it lets you transfer WhatsApp data, be it chats, media links from an Android device to an iPhone and vice versa. That's all, it supports WhatsApp business and other messaging apps, so you can use it to transfer data or even backup and restore data on your PC. This is great and you know what, there's 20% off on all mobile trans tools and you also stand a chance to win the upcoming iPhone 13. All you need to do is go to their website and pick your favorite iPhone color. So check out Wondershare Mobile Trans, get 20% off and also take part in the iPhone 13 giveaway from the link in the description down below. Oh, so you know how some interesting MIUI features are missing from some Xiaomi phones? Well, there's actually a new super interesting app that lets you access all of these hidden MIUI options on every smartphone. And I'm not talking about the MIUI's hidden settings app from Play Store. This is actually something new and different. I'm talking about this MIUI hidden libs, which I know looks like a very simple app, but it brings hidden features from MIUI 12.5, MIUI 12 Global ROM and the MIUI 11 Russia ROM. To give you an idea, the POCO F3 GT does not have MEMC, the motion smoothing display feature or the AI HDR enhancement feature by default, which is weird because the Mi 11X has all of these features. Anyway, with MIUI hidden lips, you can just tap here and you can just access this feature one by one and even enable them on a non-support phone like the POCO F3 GT. Now that's not all though. See, by default, all Xiaomi phones are set to the balanced power mode, which brings the best of performance and battery efficiency. But there's actually a hidden power setting in MIUI that you can access from this app. And as you can see, it lets you switch to performance mode, which obviously prioritizes the best performance. Now, how much of a difference is this? Well, I ran Geekbench on both balanced and performance modes. And as you can see from the scores, the performance mode does improve things a little. Now, this app has a lot more hidden options like this hidden battery stats page, which shows you the battery health as well, which is useful. So yeah, this is cool. I mean, give the video a like if you did not know about this. Do it. So you've probably seen this video from the slow-mo guys with the Apple Watch is ejecting water. It's pretty cool and you can do it on the iPhone too with the same shortcut, but you know where I'm getting at. Yes, MIUI has a similar feature built in. It's available in additional settings, clear speaker, and this plays a 30 second audio to clear the speaker of water or any dust. I tried this on the Mi 11 Ultra because that's the only IP rated Xiaomi phone I have. And here's a video of the phone spitting out water with the clear speaker feature. Yep, this is useful. And if you don't have this feature on your phone, well, you can use the MIUI Hidden Libs app to access it. So yeah, sort it. So one of the biggest issues I have while gaming is auto brightness turning down the brightness suddenly when I have an enemy around. Now it's probably an excuse I give myself for when I'm getting killed. Yeah, I suck at BGMI. But the point is, yes, auto brightness can be a little annoying when you're gaming. But you know what? Not on MIUI. On MIUI, there is an option that automatically turns off auto brightness when you start a game. So here's the phone with auto brightness turned on. And now I can just open up BGMI and look at this. Auto brightness goes off. Awesome, right? This is a feature you can enable by going to Game Turbo Settings. Here, go to Enhanced Experience and enable this. Turn off auto brightness and it's done. Now this is a useful feature, but Game Turbo also has options like bandwidth priority, which is great for games like BGMI. And it also has this performance optimization option if your device heats up a lot while gaming. So in stock Android, you just press hold the power button and you get this page along with the power off menu. And this page has all of these smart home controls and you can just turn on or turn off things from right here. Now this is pretty handy. And this is something I used to miss in MIUI, but you know what? MIUI actually has a super cool way to let you access these smart home controls and not a lot of people know about this. So you know what? You can actually get all of your smart home devices here in this iOS like control center in MIUI. As you can see, I have the lights, the fan, the AC, and a lot more. I can just turn them on or off like this from right here. Now to get the smart home control feature, first of all, you have to switch to the iOS like control center. If you're using the older style notification shade, 
Now, once you switch to the new version, you'll get this smart home option where you can set the app you're using. For example, I'm using Google Home and I can just select it and that's it. You'll now see smart home controls in the control center. So this is not a feature obviously, but it's very useful. See, UI by default collects a lot of data, especially for its ads and recommendation services. But not many people know that there's actually an easy sort of hidden option in MIUI that lets you disable these ads as well as stop MIUI from collecting all that data. See, in the passwords and security page where you get this fingerprint scan or face unlock options, there is an option right at the end that says authorization and revocation, which normally you wouldn't even notice because it just sounds so not user friendly. Anyway, you can just go here and as you can see, there are these Xiaomi apps and services. There's MSA, MIUI's ad service. I can just disable it and look what it says. It says that this will stop it from collecting my data. And very importantly, all deleted info will be deleted from the service. So I'm going to do it and I think you should do it too. Now these are five sort of hidden MIUI features that I think deserve a lot of attention. But I want to know if you guys know of any underrated MIUI feature or any hidden MIUI feature that people are not using. So make sure to comment that below. Also give this video a like, make sure to share it. Subscribe to the channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.